Well, hello out there in Cyberland. My name's Marlon. The channel is Old Fart Hacks. And what we're doing today is I bought, looking at a little uh, tool post lathe mini mill vertical slide adapter thingy goody. And uh, frankly, I bought this a couple months ago. I set it aside. I said, oh, I'll get to that and forgot it. So we're going to take a quick look at it. I, My son-in-law actually popped this out of the box. He was curious. But what we have, in fact, I don't know, it's been completely unwrapped. But what we have here is bubble wrap. Yes, yeah, lots of bubble wrap. Ooh, the bubble wrap. I think this is about as far as we've got so far on it. And as I said, it got put aside. Tool cool post falling over. Fun. So, it bolts up onto the lathe. And then you can mount things there. And, as I said, this is the first glance at it. The next video in the series will be putting it on the lathe and trying to do something useful with it. But let's see what we've got. Okay, clearly, you clamp whatever you're going to work with in this little uh, vice assembly, if you will. Which is not a bad setup, really. Adjust it vertically here. You can adjust both jaws. So you can play with this quite a bit. Use the set screws to clamp. It turns. Ooh. Let's see how much slop we have in this. Not bad. Not bad at all. It doesn't appear to have a, a tremendous amount of slop. Um... Nice thing is the gib here is brass or bronze, one or the other, and that's good. Let's see how it is along its length of travel. Well, it's a lot better than that Chinese uh, three-axis thingy over there. This stupid thing I'm still screwing with. This is still binding up on that one axis. But that's actually pretty smooth. The mounting, I'm probably going to have to make up a plate to mount this to the mini lathe. I'll know more about that when I get to it because the mini lathe right now, I would probably be mounting this on top of the tool post. I don't know though. We'll see. The other option would be to uh, Slide this square up against the uh, side of the uh, carriage and then just drill a couple of holes and tap them. I'll have to think on how I'm going to do that, but, you know, obviously this is how you mount it here. But uh, not a bad little item. It actually has, you know, moves smoothly. It doesn't seem to be bound up. I'm reasonably impressed with it. That's the end of the down travel. I'll probably rip it all apart before I actually do much more with it, just to see what all is there and see if I can mess things up. Because after all, if you can't mess with it and screw it up, what fun is it? But, um, yeah. It's got a little graduated dial. I don't know where the, if they even have a marker anywhere on here. Of course, trying to get my camera to focus on that is interesting. But as I said, a brass gib, which is nice. Seems to be well machined, reasonably well machined. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's not bad. Gibbs are adjusted here, obviously. Anyway, so that's what I've got for you so far on that. It'll be a cute little toy to play with. We'll see how it works. Hope you all have a good, whatever, morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, Shaw's bot. Well, it was Robin Williams. Anyway, have fun. Don't get caught because it's all good till you get caught, right? Bye-bye. Oh, if you like this, by the way, if you find it useful, you know, the old traditional like and all that crud, okay? You know what to do. Bye, all.